Welcome, everyone. This is a presentation that's going to be on providing XAPI support in BigBlueButton's core. Uh, our presenter today, Sheila Urbechi, uh, she is going to be talking about the implementation and what we're doing uh, based on the prototype that was written and the end result of what will happen. It's a foundational piece for any educational uh, component that's going to fit within a larger ecosystem. And I will turn the floor over to you, Sheila. Thank you, Fred. Um, hi, everybody. Thanks all for coming. It's really nice to be here. Uh, I want to apologize, but I am facing connected connectivity issues, and that's why my camera is off. I hope you don't mind. Uh, but uh, I can hear you perfectly. I can read your chat messages, so let's move on. Uh, today, we are going to share some knowledge and experience about our researches and development process of the report model on uh, model XAPI model on Big Blue Button. Uh, well, uh, and I want to just, okay. First uh, of all, some conceptual definitions, okay. Uh, the XAPI or the Experience API is an open data standard that enables to track learning actions. We call them experiences, uh, learning experiences. These actions can come from different devices and platform types like LMSs, courses, interactive content, games, physical game controllers, like uh, the old joysticks, and, and more. Uh, this experience data generated in environments that aren't traditionally focused on learning can also be considered as learning experiences. Uh, this, is, uh, this allows to use classic analytic, analytics tools, such as Google or Facebook tags, um, as long as the conceptual data and uh, data model context are adapted. This is why the XAPI pattern expands the perception of learning beyond the classic LMSs. Uh, and this is so exciting, in my opinion. Uh, and here is my first tip. It's essential for the success of any XAPI project that the data dictionary be very clear from the beginning, documenting what each action or on each platform represents, uh, what means every click or every interaction. Uh, that's very, very important to precisely track learning experiences that come from so many different sources. Well, so the XAPI goal is to track and index data from all these learning media and in some standardizing them to obtain insights about the, the learning journeys, individual learning journeys. But how it could contribute to improve Big Blue Button? So uh, currently, the BBB's data modeling tends to be oriented um, to report data segmented per session or per class, as you prefer, but not per user. That's why adopting the XAPI can bring us an entire universe of possibilities about to track learning data. In this way, we, put the, we, we can put the student learning journey as the center of our data view. So let's talk about the XAPI architecture. Uh, we have uh, three main elements uh, in each statement, the verb, the agent, and the object. Each event is a statement containing these three elements. Well, the verb is the action taken by the learner or a result obtained in a specific learning experience, for, uh, remember, the, uh, in the LMS or in other platforms. For example, uh, the learner accessed, inserted, answered, paused, completed, raised hands, anyway. Uh, the agent is the person or entity, it could be an, an entity too, that performs a learning action, the, the verb. 
Uh, this can include students, instructors, learning systems, or any other person or entity in the, this experience. Uh, the learning, oh, um, sorry, the object is the learning item that the student interacted with. Uh, this can include videos, documents, questions, simulations, uh, polls, anyway, anyway. Uh, so when a learner, the agent, interacts with the, a learning object, the XAPI records this interaction in, as a statement. This statement is sent to uh, LRS, the Learning Record Store, which stores and manages the learning data. The LRS is, re is responsible for collecting and storing the statements sent by the XAPI and providing insights and views about, about the students' performances on their individual learning journeys. Uh, okay, uh, as I said previously, the current BBB data model is not exactly oriented to report data using the XAPI pattern or learner-centered, as you prefer. But, uh, but we have worked on a prototype of how it could be possible. Uh, we set it up this framework, uh, this framework here we are showing now. Uh, there's a BBB, um, sorry, there is a Moodle sending data to uh, LRS. This Moodle is using a plugin, the XAPI uh, log store is the name of the plugin, to convert data from his activities into XAPI stat statements because uh, this um, XAPI is not native on Moodle. So this model also interacts, uh, also instances BBB classes, uh, and this BBB, sorry, and this BBB instance is using webhooks module to send data to an automation that converts the webhooks into XAPI statements, uh, and then to send it, send it to the LRS. Uh, we are using an an Anatin workflow. It's uh, amazing automation tool to send the, this data, this uh, XAPI data, uh, to the LRS. Or uh, we are using it, this workflow to convert webhooks into statements, can we say. Uh, okay. The data from the Moodle and from the BBB classes are reported to uh, LRS. We are using half. And HALF is using uh, Elastic as database so to store the statements, but could be using another data storage system, uh, document-oriented, because the statements are JSON documents. And HALF has his own, uh, his own data view tools, but we choose to consume data from HALF by an API and visualize this data on Looker reports. In the future, we, we want to improve the webhooks module to report XAPI statements by uh, natively. So we are still researching how it could be possible, designing the project, but it's our idea for the, the future. And I have some, some examples of data views. So we he, here we have this data from the Moodle and from the, the BBB instances, the, the BBB classes. So we have, for example, the most common verbs, uh, interacted, viewed, paused, played, seek it, initialize it, join, leave, uh, this, I don't know, join, also a join and others uh, 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 answering uh, a question uh, looker is um, is a tool to visualize data just to visualize is the old data studio from google yeah looker yeah right and uh, here also the graph of number of statements per day. We can track it like uh, with no distinction about what verb uh, contains each statement, just all the statements per day.
recordings, for example, we can filter by video ID or we can just uh, summarize all, all of them. And uh, what kind of video interactions? Some examples. Also, we have the BBB interactions in the, the classroom. We are using just a, a few interactions for, for example, but we could strike more and more examples. Uh, uh, we have raise hand, screen shared, public messages, polls, uh, answered and started polls, uh, but we can uh, find another another data from another interactions. Uh, and it, it's really important to say, this is a teamwork, of course. And uh, I want to mention Miguel. I don't know if Miguel is here. Okay, Miguel is here. Uh, or data scientist, whom expressively, uh, expressively contributed to this project. So uh, if Miguel, Miguel could answer some questions also, if, if you want. Uh, well, in the future, when we think about how to use the XAPI standard, combine it with artificial intelligence, there's almost no limits. Uh, one, one possible approach is the suggestion of custom learning journeys based on the individual learning history models. Each learning journey of, uh, of every uh, learner uh, can be fully customized based on each person's patterns and preferences. Students um, of the same course that offer several activities can follow their journeys completely different from, different from each other and still achieve the same goals. For example, uh, we can think about can think about uh, using artificial intelligence to predict dropout risks. Uh, we can compare students' uh, journeys, learning journeys. Uh, we can uh, uh, we can send messages. Remember that the student is um, need to answer uh, to. Uh, an activity, need to send uh, homework, for example. Anyway, the possibilities are almost infinite. So we, we want to know, uh, we want to listen to the community about uh, what educators, what students, uh, where do you think that is the, the value contributions to use XAPI on Big Blue Button? So uh, the presentation is uh, is finished so if you want to make questions I don't know if by chat or uh, by microphone thank you Sheila and as Sheila had asked, if you have questions, please just type them in the chat. There's uh, a lot of work has gone on so far. The links that I we put in the, the in the public chat there shows the current list of uh, XAPI events or messages that are being implemented in Big Blue Button. And as Sheila pointed out, it's already been done as a prototype using N8N. It's pretty cool, and that is now going into the core for BBB webhooks. So we, all the development will kind of go inside webhooks and then there will be a new version of webhooks at some point uh, that isn't dependent on anything else like any data it's gonna move right into the core and then you'll be able to add webhooks just like you do today to existing big blue button servers and you'll be able to, webhooks will send its existing webhooks and XAPI events. Did I get that right, Sheila? Yeah, I don't. I don't know. Uh, I right now I am not involved in the project. I but uh, I I have some information that matches with uh, this <laughs> that you are talking. <laughs> I, and I, it, I, it is exciting. It, it it's exciting this uh, this idea. This this goes. Yeah. Miro, you're just looking at 
what you wrote, I would prefer to give credit to person. So it, are you asking that the event actually generate something like in the grade book or that? Um, Cause think of XAPI as the event itself with the ability to store it in a learning record store. What you do with it afterwards is kind of open doors. You, you, you would have the events, you would have a database representation of the events, user events that have occurred in the big blue button session. Uh, as opposed to the, X, the link at the above XAPI virtual classrooms. And then you could do what you want with those. Watch them, extract them, report on them, buy them to a grade book, send emails out to the user. Right now, you don't have an easy way to get those events. So that's the whole purpose of XAPI is to provide a uniform, consistent uh, protocol for sending events from a, basically experience events from a component in the uh, educational ecosystem of a university or college or company to a central learning record store. And after that, it's open doors. Yeah. Yeah, there's, uh, uh... Go ahead, Sheila. Oh, okay. Thank you. Uh, there's a, a point that I didn't mention it, but um, we are we are using the XAPI concept, but uh, we can also hear uh, SCORM or TINCAN. It's because these uh, specific data standards and protocols for, for learning are not a recent invention. They started around 2000, uh, in, and one of the first standards, standards is SCORM, uh, which comes from Shareable Content Object Reference Model. Let me put it here on the chat. Score. And uh, a lot of LMS still use SCORM. Uh, it's because the XAPI was officially released in 2013, being the most current standard for this type of data flow. Uh, but the project that uh, where the XAPI was developed is the TinCan project. So you can hear uh, TinCan or SCORM, but is basically the same that XAPI. Very good. Anyone else have any other questions? Very good. So Sheila, thank you for the presentation. There will likely be, I think, a follow-on presentation when XAPI gets into the core of Big Blue Button. And uh, yeah, I hope you too. <laughs> <laughs> and people can see how to use it. We'll provide examples, documentation, and that. But this is going to make XAPI or Big Blue Button have first class support for XAPI, which for anyone deploying Big Blue Button alongside learning management systems or other projects that are already have a learning record store, uh, very useful. It's sort of the type of thing where if you don't use XAPI, the support for XAPI may not really rock your world. But if you do use XAPI, and you want to get access to the events, this will be a really nice way to do it and a very consistent and standard-based way. Thank you, Sheila, for your presentation. Thank you. Thank you, Fred. Thank you, everybody.